Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a project polish update and yeah, I was going to say what update it was but I actually don't <laughs> I don't remember because uh, I was a little bit slaggy about the updates in the springtime. I'm excited. I'm going to add a one, another one in and then I am going to take one out. I think it was Pretty Pistol 86 uh, Cherries that created this pretty polish at some point but I think it was her that created it a few years ago now I have done it in 2018 and this year I have really enjoyed it and I'm going to do it yet again next year and I love to watch pod polish because I love going through nail polish I like nail polish I just don't love it because I'm not that good at applying it I like the look of a nail polish. I did these today. They don't look very good. So yeah, the application process is not uh, exciting to me at all. I don't like it. So yeah, let's just get on into the MT. I just realized I forgot it. <laughs> the MT that I have for this month is an MT that I also showed in my MTs for August. If you saw that video, you know. It is my Catrice Cosmetics Luxury Nude Satin Shine No Polish in Delight in Pure Light. This one right here, I had an accident with some of the ball, the, the mixing balls in here. They came out because I poured it and then I couldn't pour it anymore. And then I was like, oh my god, I finished the polish. <laughs> this nail polish was amazing. I love it so much and it is the perfect nude for me and it has like a pink shine. It has some very very fine micro glitters in it. I have no idea if you can see them. I have had it in a few projects. I think I had it in last year and then I added it in this project. I was there last update where I added it in to the official project polish. The Kiko Milano or Makeup Milano. I always get that wrong. The No Lacquer in 221. I am pulling this out of the project polish. I don't have it in officially. It is like it is the polish that you use whenever you want to polish, basically. I'm going to take this out because I really liked wearing it with the nude, but now that I don't have the nude anymore in this project, I don't like working on this. I have a teeny tiny bit of progress because I wore it by itself at some point. So it is the hot pink line where I am now. I feel fine about putting this back into my smaller nail polish collection. I just uploaded a nail polish collection and base coat and top coats and stuff like that. I just uploaded that so if you are interested in nail polish, check it out. The one I have on my nails is the P2 Color Victim Nail Polish. This is my autumn break from the project polishes that I have. It is in this coppery bronze brown shade. It is called Heat Some Cocoa. And I think it is pretty pretty nice on with the cocoa theme. It looks like shiny cocoa on your nails. I really really like look at that shine. So pretty. I like it. It's not my favorite but I do like it and it dries down so fast. I'm really really impressed about the formula of this nail polish. I am at the pink line just at the top there. So let's see how far I can get this fall and maybe I will even try to finish it by the end of the year. I'm really really impressed about P2 polishes so if I can get that P2 nail polish but in another color I will definitely do because these are nice and P2 is inexpensive um, and you can get it in Osman and DM in Germany. Let me show you the wheel because I have a wheel. I forget to show you. I'm sorry. These are the colors that I have had in this yeah. I finished five polishes so far which I think is great and this was the pink that I pulled out last month and uh, this is the Kiko polish, the Catrice and this is the P2 and now we're going to talk about these two. The most progress I have is my, on my Essie Licorice No Polish in, and in Licorice. It is the black one and I am down to the hot pink line right there. It is getting hard to use now, so I am dumping some out every time I'm trying to use this. Which is telling me that it is hard 
for the brush to reach and that means it's almost done. So my goal of mine is to have this done by the next update. I have another black in my collection so I won't miss this and this is not culture free. The other one isn't either though, so it's okay. Essie is not my favorite brand for nail polish and so yeah, I'm just happy to have this out soon. Then we have another Essie nail polish and this is in Forever Yummy. It is a beautiful red shade and I am at the pink line. Maybe you can't see this one. I might have been at the black line last time but now I am at the pink line and I'm pretty excited about the progress. I have used it once. I'm beginning to just do two layers. One, because I want to get through the nail polish and two, they need it. I told you in the beginning that I'm going to add one polish into this project and that is going to be my Nails Ink Nail Kale in Richmond Park Gardens. I tried to pan this last year and in my subscription box Blitz project pan that I did a few years ago as well. Um, so I ended at this pink line last time I tried to use it. So I love to have this dark blue nail polish on in the fall time. So I think these three are going to be enough variation. Variation? Can you see that? Variation? Variation, variation. English, Elizabeth. <laughs> I think these are going to be nice to work on. And then I have the brown one as another color. So I think I'm going to be good. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below. I'm sure you are going to, I am sure you follow a lot of people that do project polish, but I will link Cherish down below if you haven't checked out already. I'm sure you do. She's quite big actually. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and on to my next one. Please take care. Bye.